All right, Shalom. This is brother from GMS North Carolina came back with another video. Before we go any further, we've all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash. That belongs to the Apostles El is the Great Millstone for teaching, for teaching us to 1% truth according to the Bible will well. In <coughs> peace and blessings still afflict. O the nation of Israel, take their sphere and power to Yahweh Shim Shai. I'm entitled to this lesson, uh, Big uh, big brother is watching, you know, talking about Yahweh Shai, you know, and the angels, you know, in the most high, they are watching us, you know, <coughs> and we must do all that we can to make sure that we are serving the Lord because the Lord is always, you know, he's always, uh, his eyes are upon us, you see, so we're always in the limelight. So we gotta make sure we're doing the right thing, you know. Make sure uh, uh, we're being more spiritual than carnal, serving the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shower, fear and trembling, you know. And I want to get that scripture first, you know. Bear with me, brothers. Let me grab it. This is uh, the book of Philippians, chapter. Past it. Yep. <coughs> This is the book of Philippians chapter 2 And Oh sorry 12 It says wherefore my beloved The beloved is the house of David The elect Without of the nation of Israel You see Wherefore my beloved As ye have always obeyed Not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, in in the Lord's absence, what does that mean? You know, when you're not around, you know, like-minded individuals, when you're on your job, you know, make sure you're uh, using wisdom. You're being at peace with all men, if it be possible, you see. You're uh, still keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. You know, uh, when you're by yourself, you see. This is a, a Philippians 2 and, and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we have to go about you know, working at our salvation, fearing the Lord, keeping His commandments. You see, walking on eggshells. This is a uh, Proverbs fifteen and three. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. See, no matter where you're at, you know, on the on the earth, you see the the Lord's eyes, which are His angels, are there, watching you, giving the report. You know how you uh, dealt with certain certain situations. You know, and those things are going to, uh, the Lord is taking account of all those things, you see. So when these uh, fiery trials come upon us, we want to uh, make sure we pass them, you see. And we're not always going to pass, you see, but we got to uh, strive for perfection. Proverbs fifteen three: the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. You know, that should give you. A sense of confidence as well, you know. Hey, the Lord, you know, is with us. You see, He's watching us. He's uh, our our uh, deeds towards Yahweh Shema Shai are not gonna go unnoticed. You see, there's also a flip side, you know, to the Lord seeing everything. He sees how wicked all these people down here on the earth are being, you know, and He sees. His righteous few, his elect, you know, we're part of the hopeful elect. You see, trying to the best of our ability to make it, you see, to please the Lord, to serve him. This is a uh, Job chapter 34, verse 21. For his eyes are upon the ways of men, and he seeth all his goings. There is no... See, the Lord's eyes sees everything. 
There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquities may hide themselves. So you have the wicked counsel of these uh, wicked elites. You see, uh, you have someone that just uh, did you wrong on the job. You see, well, well, the Lord sees all of that. You see, the Lord is making an account. And he's going to judge everyone according to their works. We just got to make sure that we're doing what he commands us to do. You see? It says, there is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquities may hide themselves. This is Sirach chapter 23. Verse 18, a man that breaketh wedlock saith thus in his heart, Who seeth me? I, I am compassed about with darkness, the walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Lord, the Most High will not remember my sins. You see, and this is not the mindset that we should have when it comes to our day-to-day -day life, you see. We got to uh, constantly be in constant meditation and knowing that the angels are watching. That we have guardian angels that are always around us. You see? Uh, uh, taking account of what we are doing. S verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. And knoweth not. That the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. So the things that you do in secret are going to come to light. You see, the eyes of the Lord being ten thousand bright, ten thousand times brighter than the sun. You know what? He's the Lord seeing everything. You see, nothing's gonna go unnoticed unmarked you see we're gonna have to give account of those things in the day of judgment you see i'm bringing out two more scriptures i'm gonna close out this is <clears throat> this is second corinthians chapter five and we'll start uh we'll start at verse 10 this is a uh, second Corinthians chapter five, verse 10. And it reads, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach, that every one may receive the things done in his body. According to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So uh, we are all going to have to give account for the works that we have done. You see, and we're looking we're striving uh, so that when the Lord may appear, that he may look at our, you know, righteous works, our righteous deeds toward, towards him. You know, doing the work, praying, reading, studying, you know, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. He may look upon those things and, uh, you know, the Lord say, uh, well done thou, a uh, well and faithful servant. You see, you know, scriptures talk about how he that come to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him you see it says knowing therefore the terror of the lord we persuade men that was pretty much the point <clears throat> this is a uh, revelation chapter 22 and 14 verse 12 slakia yeah. it says and behold i come quickly this is red leather. This is uh, Yahweh Shai speaking. Revelations 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. So the Lord said he's coming back quick. You know, so we don't have all day to, uh, you shouldn't be waiting to, you know, turn back. You shouldn't be waiting to repent to the Lord. The Lord's coming back quick, you see, and we are hastened for the Lord to return. It says, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. So Yahweh Shai is coming back with the reward. And that reward is judgment. You know, he's going to judge you according to your deeds. To give every man according as his work shall be. 
You see, because your works are being recorded down here on this earth. You see? If you've been doing uh, what's right, then you're going to receive an everlasting kingdom. You know, Lord's willing, uh, the sincere Akim who are listening to learn and be a part of that. And if you're doing that which is off, then you're going to uh, reap damnation. You know, with that, Lord's willing, uh, you brothers will edify, I'm going to say, Shalom.